Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all for joining us here today. And especially, I'd like to thank our Attorney General, our very own Rob Nicholson, who's taken the time with his lovely wife, Arlene, to join with us. Rob, thank you again for joining us today. It's with great pleasure that I stand before you today to let my friends and peers and fellow residents officially know of my intentions to run again for mayor of the city of Niagara Falls. Thank you. Thank you very much. Though today we are making this official, I've always maintained that there is much more work to be done at City Hall. Work that I'm happy to take on and work that I enjoy very much. I consider it an honor and a privilege to serve the residents of Niagara Falls as the mayor of this great city. Many of my friends and neighbors and citizens have been asking and approaching me over the past months, thanking me for our ongoing efforts and encouraging me to finish what we began in our journey of 2003, namely to give the city back to uh, its residents and to listen to what you were saying. First and foremost, you understood that critical underground repairs needed to be done. And this work, of course, is to address the aging services that we are having to deal with throughout our city. You knew that this work, this important work, had been neglected for far too many years. We listened and look around you, from Queen Street to Drummond Road to Kaler Road and to the Whiteman Bridge right here in Chippewa. We continue to invest in the roads that people use every day. We've made a focus on of course, we made this a focus of council since 2003. And we actually have put money where the holes are. You can imagine that. So, <laughs> I'd like to apologize uh, again in advance now for the inconvenience of having to endure this construction, especially here at the Whiteman Bridge. But jobs like this that really make a difference to the people in our city are certainly worth it. You know, we're working harder than ever to use the infrastructure dollars to benefit you in a big way. During my time as mayor, Again, I've insisted on transparency and in city hall processes. And we followed up with our council approved value for money audits where we have achieved great savings for the residents of Niagara Falls. And I'm seeking re-election because again, there is much more work to be done. We must continue to audit each department at city hall to find even more savings. We must build on the successes that we have already achieved and we're always working, of course, with the idea of keeping the taxes you pay affordable. As mayor, I've always insisted on the utmost in fiscal responsibility at City Hall while trying to get the job done. You know, we've been creative and we have formed innovative partnerships. I've taken the time to strengthen relationships with international mayors, with cross-border mayors, and with regional mayors. And on your behalf, I've built a strong relationship with the other levels of government, in particular with our federal government and Rob and his assistants in his office, certainly our member of provincial parliament, Mr. Kim Crater, with community organizations and friends in the private sector, all to achieve great things. The benefit has been that we've been attracted, we have attracted government and the private sector investment dollars right here in our community. You know, you have my word as the mayor, I will continue to build on those relationships and continue to work for great things for our city. And all again to approve, thank you. All again to improve the quality of life that we enjoy in Niagara Falls. You know, it's personally exciting for me to be involved in Niagara's growth and expansion. Our council has proven that we are open for business. With a driven team at City Hall, we've taken Niagara Falls to new heights. And people ask what I like about my job as mayor and why I'm doing this. And I do, George, you refer to that often. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I really believe in Niagara Falls. I really believe that this is where it's at. And Niagara Falls is certainly the place to be. Thank you. You know, each week I, I talk to my fellow Niagara Regional Mayors about what's on tap in their communities. And uh, they're of course very rightly proud of their ongoing developments and of course their local improvements and of course events in their own cities. However, here in Niagara Falls, our residents can boast about a list of accomplishments that is the envy of many other communities in the Niagara region. In a nutshell, just think about it. We're working on a hundred million dollar convention center a $50 million people mover, a $12 million historical museum expansion, and thanks to Gord West and his crew. And we've just opened our $38 million floor pad, the Gale Center, here all for the benefit of our local residents. You know, these are just to name a few, 
and, then, and of course just to name a handful of our most recent efforts. And not to mention the revitalization of our downtown core where we opened 23 new businesses last year alone on Queen Street. So, you know, we've got a lot of work that we have accomplished. Along with these substantial important projects, we remain diligent again, again, and working on continuing on our road and underground improvements throughout our city. Developing projects again of this magnitude does not come without uh, experience and solid relationships and certainly hard work. So moving forward from today, I'll be laying out a list of priorities, things that we need to build on with rock solid experience, with substance, and with relationships that we have formed with other levels of government that I referred to, especially with the private sector and with our residents. And this is why I truly believe that what we have been able to achieve these great advancements, of course, the city of Niagara Falls has seen and will be the backbone, again, of our future growth and success. So today, I'm pleased to stand before you uh, with two terms of experience working together with you, listening to your ideas and with what you want to see happen in our city. And today, we look ahead with confidence to all that needs to be done and poised, again, to build on our accomplishments together. We've come this far, and the people of Niagara Falls make great partners and they make great team members. And we have achieved many things, again, we have so much more to do. Shortly, I'll be heading down to City Hall to file my election papers with our city clerk. And again, I want to thank all of you today for taking a short time from your lunch to join us uh, as well to, you know, for this announcement. So thank you very much. I do appreciate your support.